Okay, so, got a three and a half inch 12 gauge round. This is a Remington Speed Steel. It's an ounce and three eighths of number twos. And I'm gonna compare this to a similar 10 gauge round um, as far as how well they pattern, just pattern density. Um, I wish I had some Remington 10 gauge shells, but unfortunately I don't. This is the only three and a half inch shells I have. Um, I want to compare three and a half to three and a half, otherwise I would just shoot a three inch 12 gauge round, which is what I normally shoot. But uh, for comparison's sake, so I'm going to shoot this round. And uh, oh, let me go grab my hearing protection real quick. So, generally when you're patterning, um, I think a lot of guys, they like to pattern a little further than this. I'm going to go for 25 yards. I'm trying to get as many pellets on this piece of paper as I possibly can. But uh, anyhow, let's see how this does. This is kind of not perfect scenario. I should be on a bench if I'm technically going to pattern. But hey, you know, it's going to be close enough. It's just to kind of give you guys an idea of the difference between the patterns. Okay, so here we go. I always hate these. I hate 3 and a half, 12 because they kick like a mule and they're just loud so if you see me flinch a little bit it's because I'm scared to shoot I hate these ouch whoo okay a lot different when you're actually shooting at ducks but uh, man those things just kick like the dickens um, anyhow I'm gonna cut you loose here I'm gonna walk down there I'll show you what I'm shooting at and we'll take a look at the pattern that was high um, basically I was looking straight down my rib I was trying to aim right in here and you can see my pattern is kind of high and uh, I'm going to say a little bit to the left there. Actually, well, actually quite a bit to the left. So, um, the pattern density's there. It's good. I'm liking this. But, but uh, you know, if this was a duck down in here, um, I would say that, I don't know, that's... I would probably get that one, but boy, let's say if I was shooting at 40 yards, um, that's not good. You know, your pattern's going to be opened up, and uh, so, gosh, no wonder I'm missing so many birds. <laughs> you know, I, I haven't actually patterned this gun since I got it, so it just goes to show how important it is to pattern your gun, but uh, I might have to get on a bench with this. I don't know if that was just me. I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, I was pretty smooth on the trigger, so I don't think I jerked, but, but, uh, yeah, that's uh that's crazy. So okay, I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna go round up my 10 gauge, and uh, we'll get that sucker out here and see what it does. This is a Ithaca Mag 10, three and a half inch 10 gauge semi-auto. This was intended to be a long range waterfowl gun. And I can tell you from the experience of shooting that it is. Um, these guns outperform a 12 gauge hands down. And I know a lot of you are gonna disagree with me um, saying that, well, Mitch, you know, they're slower and and uh, you know you can get the three and a half inch 12 gauge and uh, you can get the same loads that that you can in a 10 gauge and that's kind of true but the difference is is the barrel diameter a 10 gauge 
digest the shot so much better with that little bit of extra room um, than a 12 gauge does. And you know, I don't know the exact science of it, but uh, believe me, I've shot enough birds over the last few years with this thing that I can tell you there is a big difference. And uh, it's, it's a big gun, you know, it's a 32 inch barrel versus like a 28 on that, uh, on that 12 gauge. Um, this is a full choke, but it's really good. And where it really shines is that it, uh, it, it really, uh, it patterns very, very well with bigger shot, you know, so your BB, triple BB, your T, your F, um, it'll handle that where a 12 gauge, you can shoot it, but it doesn't pattern really well. Those larger pellets, especially the steel, they get what they call a bell effect and they kind of, they bounce off of each other and that causes your pattern to kind of blow out as to where with this, um, the extra barrel diameter, it actually, uh, it, it just, it performs better. So I'm going to go ahead and shut up here and shoot some paper so you guys can see what the difference is. Now this is a <clears throat> Federal Black Cloud. This is actually an ounce and five eight, so it's uh, actually a quarter of an ounce more uh, shot than the uh, the 12 gauge. And I know that's not a real fair comparison. I wish I could compare apples to apples here, but but uh, this is also number two steel shot. Um, they're both three and a half inch shells, but this is that's the closest thing I have is as far as comparable ammo right now. So this being a semi-auto. It also produces less recoil and because of the bigger barrel diameter it actually creates less pressure so the recoil on these isn't nearly as bad as a three and a half twelve in a comparable load I would say that this ounce and five eighths load even though it's being uh, heavier in actual payload than the ounce and three eighths shell that I shot in the 12 gauge this gun's gonna actually recoil less so let's give it a try here way less um, don't get me wrong it kicks but uh, not like that 12 gauge wow okay I'm not even gonna say it's really fair to compare this now if you're really looking at that um, the pattern on this is much tighter and honestly I have a full choke in the uh, Winchester 12 gauge as well but uh, I can see where the wad actually fell through right down here but um, this pattern is much tighter, much tighter. I would say it's uh, overall diameter, it's uh, probably eight to 10 inches less. The pattern density, there's not many holes in that pattern. So, I mean, if, if this dot represented the center of a bird, I mean, <laughs> I'm that's like, I don't know if there'd be much left of it. In comparison, the, uh, the 12 gauge, you know, I don't know why the uh, the pattern is so high, but uh, honestly, I probably, uh, it's probably me more than the gun itself, but um, this is just, the pattern is so much different. So here's the side-by-side -side comparison. This is the 10 gauge, had 178 hits, and again, I was aiming for the uh, center of that silver spray paint blob but as you can see that is a 25 yard pattern that's pretty good I mean if that was a bird in there it would be pretty much toast so moving over here here is the 12 gauge pattern and it's actually 2 eighths of an ounce less in payload and you can see that I still had 156 hits on the paper, but you can see the the pattern is just way more blown out. Especially at that range, I would say reaching out to 40 yards, that, uh, you know, that pattern would actually probably blow apart even more. Um, you know, I've got stragglers clear down here at the edge of the paper, 
clear up there, clear over here. Now, part of that could have been my shot placement. I don't know if it was the best, but you just look at the uh, the pattern. Yep, there's my that's my cat that I found. Oh, him and the dog are still trying to work things out, but anyway, but you can see how well that pattern. So 178 hits versus 156, again, different payload capacity.